Hey folks, Merry Christmas, and technically this is a World Tanks video, but at the same time it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and let this play in the background uh, while I actually go ahead and read something else entirely. So uh, I need to figure out how to get my mouse off the game for a second. There we go. Um, so for a while now I've had a favorite story that I like to think about at Christmas time that's not actually to do with a bunch of the stories that are normally associated around this time. Um, and every time I hear the Snoopy and the Red Baron song on the radio, my mind goes back to this. And so today I decided I'd actually go ahead and read you the story. Um, and it's about an American B-17 Flying Fortress pilot and a German... Uh, of course my light goes out. But anyways... <laughs> a German fighter pilot ace at the same, uh, and and their their day, and so um, some of you I'm sure have heard this story before, and some of you haven't, and I'm gonna read you guys as much of the story as I can during this episode, and then if I need to, I'll just keep adding on games until we finish the story. Um, so you guys get to watch me play the Type Four Heavy and have an amazing game, and I get to read one of my favorite stories. So we're actually going to turn down the music. Um, go ahead and lower the volume so that you guys can listen but not so loud that it interrupts the sound of my beautiful voice as I t uh, read this story. So this is a, a piece that was posted in a, uh, a uh, newspaper and so I'm just gonna go ahead and read what they wrote because they write better than I write and um, I will drop the link to their article in the description uh, and so that you guys can go and read it and give them credit and all that good stuff so it was a few days before Christmas in 1943 and the Allied bombing campaign in Germany was going up full tilt second lieutenant Charlie Brown was a freshly minted bomber pilot and his crew were about to embark upon their first mission. It hit an artillery, or sorry, it hit an aircraft factory in northern Germany. Uh, it should be noted uh, at this point in time that I'm going to skip any gory, horrible details. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and read those details for yourself, then you can. But I like to keep this channel as family friendly as I can, and so I'm going to skip anything that isn't family friendly. Okay, cool. <laughs> If I wouldn't tell it to my eight-year-old, I'm not telling it to you guys. You guys can go look it up for yourselves. Brown's B-17 Flying Fortress, dubbed Yoldy Pub, by the way, which is an awesome name for a plane, uh, was typical of American heavy bombers at the time. Along with its 8,000 pound bomb capacity, the four plane, four, four plane, yeah, four engine plane, was armed with 11 machine guns and strategically placed for plating. Uh, the Flying Fortress was known as Flying Fortress because it could sustain so much fire uh, and so much enemy just death being dealt out that few other tanks would survive and it just shrugged it off and kept going. Um, it wasn't a pressurized plane so they really did have to fly uh, at 27,000 feet so that their, their crews could breathe. Um, but of course, that, after the air is thin and cold. They did use onboard oxygen, though, to supplement. Uh, as Yoldi Pub uh, approached Brenham, Germany, German anti-aircraft batteries opened up on the formation. So because of the way uh, the planes flew, they had some protection, but if they broke formation with each other, then the guy over by himself suddenly became a target of all the, the guns that could shoot at him kind of thing because he was suddenly an easier target, right? So, um, unfortunately for the pilots and the crew of Yildi Pubs, one of those artillery anti-aircraft rounds exploded right in front of their plane, destroying the number two engine and damaging the number four engine. So, thankfully, that's one engine on one side and the, the far extreme engine on the other side. So it's not both on the same engine. Same you know, thing at least. So there's that. Uh, missing one engine and the other one basically out of commission. 
they can no longer hold formation. So they fell out of formation. Suddenly, they're the ones that are going to be shot at by the entire enemy team, more or less. Right? Yeah. In, in, in World Tanks terms. Um, uh, let's see. I'm skipping because nobody needs to read that. Um, the... Yeah, yeah. Drop back. Bad stuff. Oh, the game ended. Okay, I just wanna... We're gonna wrap this story up. And then we'll show you guys better results. Well, I'll, I'll find a suitable place to end, right? So, drive back. Uh, things went from bad to worse for Brown and his crew. Falling behind the formation, the oldie pub weathered merciless attacks from 15 German fighters. The bomber's machine guns got one of them. But... The damage this sustained was immense. Uh, Brown himself caught a bullet fragment in the shoulder. So, imagine driving a car while shot. And that car contains, like, you know, a bunch of your close friends. Yeah. One of which you already know was injured. Uh, and so eventually the only defensive guns they had left were on the top turret, which basically shot everything above you, and not much of anything else. And the nose gun, which is fixed, pointing forward, you aimed it by turning the plane. So if you couldn't turn the plane, guess what? Uh, their hydraulic system and their oxygen was knocked out. So not only did they have to come back down closer to Earth to be able to breathe properly, hydraulics is what a plane steers with. If you don't have hydraulics on a plane, you ain't steering that plane. It's just going to be a rock in the sky. So, yeah. Uh, so, what th this next section act is actually what quote from Brown. I spiraled or spun uh, out of there and, and came out of the spin just above the ground. My only conscious memory was of dodging trees in an airplane and <clears throat> but he had nightmares of this uh, but I had nightmares of this for years and do nightmares of dodging buildings and then trees I think the Germans thought that we'd spun in and crashed yeah yeah well seeing a plane fall from 20 th 27,000 feet into tr a tree line yeah, I would expect that that's a down plane as well. Anytime you have to dodge trees in a plane, that's not a good day. <laughs> so, we're going to finish off today's part of the story by saying Yodi Pub was spared further harassment by enemy fighters uh, for this particular point in time, and somehow he and the co pilot managed to get the plane flying again level at about a thousand feet of elevation. So he pulled up out of the trees, got to a thousand feet, and that's as now his cru cruising speed. As he's still over enemy territory, a thousand feet above the ground, and effectively a C-14, um, with no guns that he can point anywhere decent. I guess, actually, being down that low, having a gun that only points up is actually kind of useful. But very briefly, because <laughs> all somebody would have to do is get behind them, and that would be the end of that. So we're going to go ahead and pause this story here, and tomorrow we will pick it up with a different game of mine and continue the story, and we'll see what happens to this uh, amazing crew and <laughs> heroin story they suffer through. So yeah. Um, I'm just going to jump over to the battle results. You guys can look at those for a few seconds and then we'll end this. So this was by far the best game I've had in the Type 4 in a long time. And one of the, the reasons I truly, truly enjoy this tank, I still can't believe that T-34 let me spin around and shoot him. Um, or, and, and I also can't believe I set that IS-7 on fire. <laughs> this, this was a joy of a game. And yes... Um, that is before the Christmas bonus kicked in. So, if I had had this when the Christmas bonus was going on, that would have been amazing. 
And was, also, this game felt longer than four minutes, but it was definitely not. So yeah, Merry Christmas all, and I hope you enjoyed this part of the story, and we will pick it up again tomorrow. We'll see you then. As I owe either out.